Hello everybody, I hope you guys are doing great today. Today's video, we are going to be starting off the series of budget build guides. So many of you already know what the best gear is for each and every character out there. However, how do you get that gear? How do you get rich? How do you get amazing gear for your character? The end game, godly gear everyone knows about. Well, you have to start somewhere. So in this video here, we are going to be showcasing where I recommend you magic find as a Frenzy Barbarian, what kind of cheap gear you can put together, preferably from magic finding in Nightmare. So when you go into Hell Mode, not only is it easier to beat, but also on top of that, you can effectively magic find there to find those amazing items that everyone likes to talk about and showcase. So if you are looking to make the best Barbarian possible and how to get there, hopefully this video is for you. However, I do want to state one thing here. If you have not made your Barbarian yet and you're like level 5 or something, I recommend you check out my leveling guide. If you want to get through normal, nightmare, and hell mode as the Barbarian, check out that guide. It should either be on the screen here or at the end of the video, and that will help you beat all three difficulties as the Barbarian. And this video here is for after that. Once you've beaten the game, now it's time to get better gear, and that's what this video is for. So with that being said, let's hop straight into it here. So, what are the pros and cons of the Frenzy Barbarian? If you're still undecided on what to play, let's kind of go over a bit of how Frenzy works. So one of the great things about Frenzy is that it has extremely fast movement speed. One of the biggest things in this game for efficient magic finding is mobility. You need to be able to get to the main areas quickly, whether through teleporting, which is why the Sorceress is the most popular, or by getting there super fast with running speed. So a Hammered In with the Vigor Aura is an example, or in the Frenzy Barbarian's case, if you strike a monster a few times, your movement speed is absolutely crazy for a temporary amount of time. This will allow you to basically get to certain areas really quickly so one of the great things about frenzy is you can get to those places super quick until you have that enigma which allows you to teleport on top of this the barbarian and frenzy as well uses the howl skill which allows you to scare away monsters all around you this is really important because if you're looking to efficiently magic find you only really want to kill what you need to and in this case here it's either killing bosses such as andorial mephisto and diablo or it's killing boss groups or boss packs which is basically the main boss and maybe some of their minions as well and the reason why this is even more important as a barbarian is because the next Next benefit of the Barbarian is the Find Item skill. Find Item allows you to basically a dead body and what this means is that basically you'll search it for items so when you kill a monster they have a specific loot table attached to them depending on what that monster is what area they're in etc and when you find item it's basically like killing them a second time so you have a second chance at getting loot from this monster that you killed and this is extremely important because if you can get through say the pits really quickly as the barbarian you want to howl everything away focus down the boss, quickly find item, and then move on to the next boss. And you keep doing that over and over again, and eventually you will find some of the amazing items in this game. Now, one of the best, most efficient magic finders isn't necessarily Frenzy, but it is the Barbarian if you have, say, the Enigma, so you can get to the pits really quickly, and then quickly kill and find item. It's super efficient, one of the best magic finders. The question, though, is how are you going to get that gear in the first place? So let's talk about some of the uh, negative effects of the Frenzy Barbarian as well. Uh, first of all, Frenzy is single target, so if you're looking to kill a lot of monsters at once, like some other classes out there, Hammered Ins, Lightning Sources, Javazons, and Cows, Trap Assassins and Cows, uh, you're not going to do very well with that. Frenzy is specifically single target, so you'll have to go into areas and accept the fact that you're only killing one monster at a time, which is still quite useful if you know what you're doing. And that's kind of what I mentioned a second ago, where you scare everything away, focus down a boss, find item, and then quickly find the next boss. That's basically how you have to play this playstyle. One other negative thing is that the Barbarian, unfortunately, is gear dependent. So some classes out there, like the Sorceress or the Hammered In, they don't need gear at all in order to magic find in Hell Mode. But in the case of the Barbarian, you actually have to do some Nightmare magic finding in order to get a couple of decent weapons. And this is going to be a major deal. And once you have those weapons and maybe an armor or two with, like, cannot be frozen, you can go into Hell Mode and start magic finding. So if you're picking the Barbarian, you just have to accept the fact that they are more gear dependent. So when it comes to magic finding areas, where should you magic find as the Barbarian? 
First of all, if you are not geared, I highly recommend the pit in Hell Act 1. You can get here really quickly by taking the outer cloister waypoint and then following the path outside. If you're on single player, you should always see where it is, which is a nice benefit. But if you're on multiplayer, it's a reliable place for people without teleport, such as no enigma if you're not a sorceress. Uh, it's really reliable because you just follow the path out and you can find it very quickly. And you want to go into the pit and you want to focus down boss groups only. The boss and maybe their minions and that's it. So other than that, you want to skip most of the monsters in here. Only the boss groups are what you're focusing on. The second area I recommend is the Frigid Highlands. More specifically, killing Eldritch at the top of the waypoint and his minions. And then quickly going downwards to Shank the Overseer and killing him as well. This is also a nice great place for the Barbarian because it's really close to the waypoint and there's no random map. So once again, no teleport makes this really great for classes out there that don't have that teleport. Now, once you're geared a little bit on your Barbarian and you can handle these next areas, I recommend the Travancol in Act 3. The Travancol is absolutely amazing for runes and great items, and the thing that makes them even more special in the case of the Barbarian is that you can find item all of their corpses. The Barbarian is absolutely insane here. The only issue with it is that you have to be able to handle it, so it's going to require a little bit of gear. Once you've dealt with Travancol, if you can handle that, you might be able to also handle the Chaos Sanctuary. So what I recommend here is quickly going through the River of Flame and then rushing every single seal. If you go to the first seal and kill that boss there, find item him, and then go to the next seal and do the same thing, and then the third seal, you can quickly spawn Diablo. And it's basically known, what I call it anyway, seal rushing. You basically rush the seals, pop them, kill the seal guardians, and then you will spawn Diablo as quick as possible. So those are the main areas I recommend magic finding as a Frenzy Barbarian. Run the Pit and the Frigid Highlands, and then once you have gear, run Travancol and maybe Chaos. Honestly, if it was me, I would only focus on the Pit, Frigid, and Travancol, but it really depends on what you want to do, of course. Now, let's go over some of the gear that I actually beat Hell Mode with on this Barbarian. If you guys are familiar with my Barbarian leveling guide, I beat all three difficulties with some of the worst gear possible. So let's take a look at some of the gear I recommend, and by the way, all of this gear you can find in Nightmare. So if you need gear on your Barbarian, I recommend farming Nightmare Mephisto, Nightmare Diablo, and maybe Nightmare Bale as well. Nightmare Eldritch and Shank is also great. The biggest thing here is going to be your weapons. So Alder's Rhythm here, we have here just a Shale Eth. This is actually from my Zeal Paladin, and I transferred it over to my Barbarian at the time. That's why you see the Shale Eth there for the attack speed, and the Ethrin here for minus target defense. One of the things about Barbarian is that, uh, unlike Spellcasters, your skills have a chance to uh, miss. So having defense on a monster, if it's high defense, you're going to miss more often, and your character level also plays a big role in that as well. So if there's two things I recommend to efficiently farm, it's having a good level around, say, level 70 or higher, and then having some kind of minus target defense, ignore targets defense, or super high attack rating on items such as Sanders Riprap here. Um, so going over the items here, Alder's Rhythm is very common to find. You can find this off every Nightmare boss, including Nightmare and Doriel. Once you have something like an Alder's Rhythm, you want a black in an elite weapon. So you see how it says Tyrant Club. Now, if you take a look at the club here, there are three types of every weapon. There's a spiked club in normal, which you might have seen in Act 1. Spiked club is number one. In Nightmare, it's a different one. I can't remember what it's called. And then the third one here in Hell Mode, Tyrant Club. So there's three tiers of every weapon. If you can get your hands on a tier three weapon, such as a Tyrant Club, you can make a black in it. And this will be actually a really good uh, weapon and can just barely handle the pits. So you can handle the pits with just an Alders and a black. Now, if you need some kind of weapon like this, let's say you beat Nightmare and you still do not find a three socket Tyrant Club, you should be able to find this somewhere in Act 5 or where I prefer Nightmare Cows. So that's where I recommend. If you're looking for runes, like for example here, the Treachery, the next part, Shale Thal Lem, the Lem isn't very common. However, you can kind of farm for it in Nightmare if you do Nightmare Chaos, Nightmare Cows. If you check your Nightmare Hellforge quest, if you're lucky enough and you get a Lem there, uh, you can make a Treachery, which is absolutely amazing for the attack speed, and also more, possibly more importantly as well, the Fade effect. Fade will give you 60 all resistances and 15% damage reduction against physical attacks. So if you're going into Hell Mode to efficiently uh, budget up a Barbarian so you can Magic Find Hell Mode to get the better gear, Treachery is a very key part, and then your Black and Alder's Rhythm is like your bare minimum weapons. 
Now, next, we have a Talrasha's helmet here. I believe I found this off Nightmare Mephisto, the Life Leech, the Mana Leech. When it comes to melee attacks, such as Frenzy Barbarians, you can actually get leeching from those attacks. It doesn't work for spell casting, but it works for melee attacks. So Life Leech, Mana Leech are absolutely amazing to keep your life and mana uh, regenerating as you attack. The resistances in life are also great. For the amulet here, we have a random telling of beads. The main thing here is the one to all skills and resistances, but really you can go with any kind of rings with resistances and attack rating. Uh, here we have a Raven Dross. This is like arguably one of the best things you can find in Nightmare, uh, more specifically for the cannot be frozen effect. Most monsters or bosses and stuff can freeze you, which will really slow your attack speed as Frenzy. You really need a cannot be frozen item, whether it's a Raven Frost, or if you don't have a Treachery, you get something like a Spirit Shroud or a Durial Shell, Hawk Mail, just one item with cannot be frozen. You need that going into Hell Mode, otherwise you're going to suffer big time, especially since you're focusing on boss packs anyway in areas like the Pit. For the belt, we have String of Ears here, the uh, Life Leech, and more importantly, the damage reduction is absolutely amazing here. I highly recommend this if you are lucky enough to find it. I found one off Rakanishu in Nightmare, which is super early and absolutely like crazy luck. Next here, we have Crafted Gloves, where you go Guaranteed Crushing Blow and Life Leech on them. I forget the recipe. I always forget the recipes for these. I can have it on the screen here for you. Um, but basically, you can craft these around level 30 or so, maybe even lower if you're lucky enough to get the perfect gem. And basically, what you want to do here is have Crushing Blow, Life Leech, and if you're lucky, Resistances or 20% increased attack speed. So those are really nice budget gloves that you can pick up as well. As I mentioned, the boots, uh, I just found these off Nightmare Mephisto. Um, strength, Dex, Attack Rating, Faster Run, Walk. But anything with Resistances is great. Um, something I kind of want to mention as well before I forget is, let's take a look at Black here. You see that 40% Crushing Blow? This is an amazing weapon because Crushing Blow deals a percentage of the monster's health in damage. This includes bosses. So the more health they have, the more damage Crushing Blow does. So having high Crushing Blow is really good on a melee character because it destroys bosses. So if you have this idea of farming Hell Andorial, Hell Mephisto, Nightmare Mephisto, etc., Crushing Blow is the key to killing them fast. Now, on the weapon swap here, I have two Spirit Swords, because two to all skills will allow me to buff my War Cries here, so uh, Battle Orders, giving myself temporary life mana. Um, find item as well, uh, you want to switch over to your double Spirit. You can see here, 19% chance to get extra items from a dead body. When I switch to the Spirit, it goes all the way to 35%. So, having a double Spirit, or if you shop at vendors like Mala and stuff, any vendor that sells Javelins, they have a chance to have two to war cries and up to three to war cries. So if you can get yourself a three to war cries javelin and do wield those, that is six to war cries, which is six to everything here, including your find item. However, I was too lazy to shop for them, so I just run a double spear here for the four to all skills. And finally, we have random charms here, extra damage, extra attack rating. Um, mercenary, we have ourselves an obedience. This is a really great weapon here. Obedience is great. Uh, because it does massive damage and the high crushing blow as well. So if you're looking for a good mercenary weapon, Obedience is great. Uh, treachery here on him as well, and a Talrash's second helmet here. So giving your mercenary anything like life leech, damage reduction, attack speed, all great. Now I want to uh, top, uh, not top, uh, talk about uh, the next weapons here. So the black is like the bare minimum here, okay? So you really don't want to go into hell mode with a black unless you're absolutely forced to. So let's say you don't find two Lemruns. Ideally, you want a Lawbringer. This will help you so much magic finding in hell mode. Uh, so here's what happened basically with my experience on the Barbarian recently. With the black and alders, I can barely get past act one. I farmed the pit. Once you get a Lem rune, you can switch out and make a Lawbringer. Just with this alone right here, you can now beat Hell Mode. I actually beat all five acts with the Lawbringer here. So this is what I recommend. Lawbringer and some other kind of weapon. Now, when I go into the skills, you'll see why I pick Maces specifically, but we won't talk about that just yet. We still have a few more items to talk about. So let's go over here to uh, Shared. So... Ideally here, as I mentioned, you want to farm the pits. The pits are super easy as a barbarian. You can even do it with the black, as I mentioned. And you want to farm until you find phase blades. Phase blades are great because they have the fastest attack speed, and they also have amazing rune words, and they're just great overall. So what I recommend, if you have the runes, of course, if you find them in the pits, is something like a lightsaber with a lawbringer. Where's the lawbringer? There it is. So you want a lawbringer no matter what. 
And then you want to mix it in with something like a lightsaber, ideally, and then into, say, a crescent moon or a passion. It really depends on what runes you find. So it's kind of hard to say what's the best here. I think, ideally, if you're lucky, lightsaber with a lawbringer. But crescent moon is a decent weapon choice if you have an extra um rune laying around. Uh, if you have a third lem rune for some reason, uh, passion's also good. But overall, phase blades are way better than maces if you can get your hands on phase blades. So that's going to come down to what you find in the pits. Now, if you don't have a treachery, you can also go with a myth armor here. So you can see here, myth, hell, am, nef, super easy to find in nightmare. Two to barbarian skills, you can't really go wrong with that. Only downside is you lose a lot of resistances from the treachery. And also, if I have it here, here it is, smoke. This is also a nice choice. So if you don't have that lemurine for treachery, you can also go a neflam for smoke. This will give you 50 to all resistances because one of the most important things in hell mode is having high resistances, preferably maxed if you can. So if you don't get the treachery here, let's take a look at our res. It's really bad. And we put on the smoke here and you can see it's like 49, 69. Nice. Uh, 41, 35. Keep in mind, treachery, as I mentioned, fade gives you 60. And that has to activate when you get hit. So you'll have 60 to all resistances when your fade is active. So that's basically like the budget armor, I would say. Uh, one more I could mention here is a crafted belt. So if we open up the cube here, it has to be this kind of belt. Okay, so you see how this belt looks. It's a shark skin belt. I think the other one is a light belt and a vampire fang belt. So this specific belt type with a perfect amethyst, any jewel, and an ithrune. This will craft open wound. Oh, okay, that's awkward. That's a caster belt. Wow, that is awkward as heck. I'm going to have to throw up the other recipe. I'll throw it on the screen here. That's funny. I'm going to leave that in. You guys can laugh. Any veterans there laughing at me right now? Uh, you're welcome to. But that's actually not a bad roll. Um, so you see the hit recovery of the strength. The reason why I was trying to show you a crafted belt here is you can craft one that has open wounds on it. So open wounds will prevent healing and it also does a percentage of the monster's health in damage as well. Not as much as crushing blow, but it's pretty decent. So if you want an open wounds belt, I'll show it on the screen here with the recipe. Not this caster belt, but you can see a general idea of what you can make if you don't get a string of ears. So now let's talk about uh, the potential items you can find anywhere in hell for the most part more specifically the pit so as i mentioned if you cannot handle anywhere else and you want to go into the pit you can find items like the immortal kings if you're that kind of guy who saw immortal kings barbarians and you really want to play a full immortal kings barbarian you can find these two very commonly um the mall can be found on hell mephisto i don't know about hell and Dariel. i don't think so but i could be wrong it's been a long time since i remember ever seeing one on her if at all so i don't think and can drop this in hell mode but hell mephisto i know can and hell bale i had one on my barbarian actually but the armor is the big piece here if you're going for full immortal kings this can only drop in certain areas in the game and one of those areas is the pit so once again if you do the pit you can eventually find your immortal king's armor now, other items you can find is Ariad's Face from, like, Hell Mephisto, I think Hell and uh, The Pits, if you're looking for that. Gore Rider's amazing. Deadly Strike is another thing I want to mention here. Deadly Strike is a chance to deal double damage. However, it does not stack with your Mastery. So, if you are a Mastery here and you get a Critical Strike with it, Deadly Strike will not work. However, if Mastery's Critical Strike does not go off it will then try for Deadly Strike. So in a way, it does stack, but doesn't stack, if that makes sense. It's like having two attempts at Critical Strike, not that it stacks. Another item here, Vampire Gaze, Life Leech, Mana Leech, Massive Damage Reduction. Um, I found two High Lords on my Sorceress from Hell and Dariel uh, just the other day. So finding High Lords off Hell and Dariel is a pretty good chance, it seems like, at least for me. Uh, amazing there, Attack Speed Skills. Ravenfrost, as I mentioned, and Dwarf Star here. So, like, these are just some examples of gear. I don't want to show everything because we'll be here for an hour. Uh, but there's a lot of items that you can find. Pretty much every item in the pit. So, that's basically what you want to take away from here. If you have bad gear, go into the pit. And if you're in Act 5 somehow, the Frigid Highlands is also great. All right, now let's talk about the skills. The skills for the Frenzy Barb is pretty easy. You want to max out Frenzy. And you want one point into Berserk because Berserk deals magic damage. If you ever run into a boss group and the boss is immune to physical damage, switch to Berserk and then you can kill him. With having Berserk and your physical damage from Frenzy, you should not be able to fail at killing anything. Next, you want to max out your mastery of choice. If you're going axes, swords, whatever it is, you want to max that out. So if you find phase blades and you decide to switch over to phase blades, you need to respec into sword mastery. However, if you're like me and you don't have good gear, 
I prefer running maces because there's not only more maces to choose from, they also get 50% damage to undead. So overall, maces are absolutely amazing. So mace mastery is what I am here currently. Once I have the phase blades, which I do, I would respect. But for the sake of this video, I'm only running mace mastery to show you guys what I ran to beat this game. Next, we want 1.2 natural resistance and increased speed. And for war cries, we want 1 into battle cry and 1 into battle command. Battle cry is great because when you apply this to a monster, their damage goes down big time and their defense as well, which increases your chance to hit them. So if you're having trouble hitting monsters, such as with a uh, black or something, uh, battle cry will help you a lot. Finally, we want one point into find item as well. This is one of your biggest uh, benefits of playing a barbarian. Make sure, remember, to switch to your double spirit swords to give it a decent chance to uh, get items. And one thing, last thing I want to mention here is putting as many points into Howl until it totals to 88. Howl's skill level combines with your character level. So you can see here, level 76 plus 12 equals 88. We are in school. It's Sesame Street time. So when you have a total of 88... Every monster except for bosses will get feared. This is important because as I mentioned earlier in the guide, you need to fear most monsters. When you're going into an area like the pit, every monster, especially boss minions, are like level 85 to 87. So in order to scare all of them away except for the boss itself, it needs to be a level 88 howl. And howl is combined with your character level. So again, 76 plus 12 count with me guys. <laughs> so there you go, 88. Now you can scare everything away, chaos sanctuary, everything. Like I mentioned, that's the strategy. Scare everything away, focus down the single boss, find item, and then continue on. I believe that's everything here. Oh, max out battle orders. Once you've got the 88, you've maxed out the other ones. You can put the rest of your points into battle orders if you want the extra life, which is what I did here. You can also max out one of the synergies if you want. Double swing, taunt, if that's what you want to do as well. Some of you might be wondering, how come you're not putting points into double swing and taunt for the synergy? You don't really need it. Most of your damage comes from weapons anyway. And having something like Howl and Mace Mastery, in my opinion, just felt more comfortable for me. As I mentioned, I did beat the game with this, right? So overall... That is the Frenzy Barb Guide. I hope it was useful. And hey, let me know down in the comment section what you thought. If you're making your Barbarian and this helped, I'd love to hear the comments on how uh, this guide helped you guys out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, at the end of this video, there is a Barbarian leveling guide. If you are not making a Barb yet and you're like level 1, check out that leveling guide. It will help you get through the game super easy and then come back to this one to Magic Find efficiently. Thanks guys, as always, and I'll hopefully see you on my next video.